Yeah. Yeah, some of them are still on. But what did you think when family members that are fed started telling you this? I was scared. I got to be honest. I was scared. Um, you really don't know how to handle it at first because on the job, everything's quiet. You're not informed as well as you think you are. So when you hear it, you kind of take it with a grain of salt. Do you know what I mean? So you were compartmentalized, but, but now it's all unfolding. They militarized the police. Uh, big banks help ship in the drugs, launder the money. Society starts to break down. They have the MTV crowd promote race war and attacking police. And then it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. Then the feds at the top criticize the very police that have been militarized by them. And the answer is more federalization, more globalization. Did your family members that are feds uh, tell you anything else? Um, they gave me a lot more information. They informed me about the light bulbs, the appliances, all the stuff that you also talk about. And back then, this was probably around, when I started hearing it, around 2010. And I found it hard to believe, but I'm, I'm really glad that I did listen. Believe me, um, I found it hard to believe 10 years ago in MIT publications, and they said that, you know, the new null light bulbs are going to interface with computers, they're going to have data over power line, and then six years ago, I saw them start putting them in police departments and not telling the cops that that it was data over power line. Now they admit that they're doing it. And now it's rolling out with the new TVs where they control the appliances in your house to make it a more fun, you know, viewing experience. I mean, it's, they're rolling it all out like it's cutesy. You can just see how they're doing it, and it's so Orwellian. Did they tell you anything else? Um, God, there was just so much that I was told about. I'm sorry that my mind is a little bit of a blank but I do want to tell you about the smart meters. They put one on my home down in Maryland, and I had a complete fit. I called them to get it taken off, and they, they said that the state of Maryland, I have to pay a $75 fee to opt out, and then $17 a month fee to not be part of the smart meter clan. So they're going to penalize you to do that as if it costs $17 to have a human come read it. And again, if it was just a wireless system just giving that data, it wouldn't be an issue. They admit the four companies that put these out have standardized a system that scans and grabs all your other wireless data. It is a spy hub. Now, we've had the victory nationwide that most states and cities have put in the opt-out. Austin, Texas has done it as well. But you shouldn't be penalized for the fact that they're trying to put a spy hub on your house. When I said that to them, they told me, oh, no, there's nothing wrong with the meter. It's a safe meter. They even had, um, uh, I guess, a, a repair guy come out and tell me how safe the meter was. I said, I don't care. I want it off my house. Period. Well, I mean, we can argue if the high-powered Wi-Fi is bad for you, but you can't argue they've been catching them all over the country, using them to game uh, how you're charged and to, in some cases, double charge you. Uh, you always pay more. They always screw you over with them, but you sometimes double and then also, California promised they wouldn't do it. Now three states are doing it, including California. They will control your thermostats uh, during peak times and not let you have the energy you need. What do you make of that? That's why I was totally against it. I was floored. I know exactly what you're talking about. Um, I don't want them controlling anything in my house. If I want to keep my heat at 70, that's my business. Absolutely. Well, it's all part of this argument. There's not enough energy we got to conserve. No, the model is false scarcity, artificial scarcity. They're going to cut what you get and then charge you more. You're going to get a 200 square foot apartment and pay what a thousand foot would have been. This is their own admissions. Screw job on top of screw job on top of screw job where we accept less. Telling Africans, you don't get a car air conditioning. Not we're going to get you a clean car and clean air conditioning. No, you don't get development. And this is called liberal. God bless you, ma'am. People like you, Debbie, should create a gnome de plume and write about your experiences, a pen name, create a YouTube channel, see yourself as a leader, and, and, and reach out to others. We need everybody that's aware of what's going on to tell others, and we can stop this program. I have a report today where they've come out and admitted, yes, the government's using everything in your house. It was a master plan to control you, and we're designated as the enemy. 
By who? By foreign banks that have seized the federal government. Does that mean everybody in the federal government's bad? No. It means bad guys, like Nazi Germany, are in charge. Was every German bad? No. But Hitler was. Virtually anyone can hack your cell phone and track your calls, your texts, your emails, your every movement. But only if they can detect a signal. Stay one step ahead of hackers and Big Brother with a block at Pocket. A custom-made pocket infused with pure silver that creates a complete Faraday enclosure for your cell phone. For free shipping to the lower 48, visit BlockItPocket.com or call 888-315-9618. BlockItPocket.com. Enhancing health and privacy. Worried about getting sick and feeling terrible for days or even weeks? You need Immudine for a healthy immune system. Why get sick and bother with products that just don't work? For just a dollar a day, Immudine is all natural and safe for all lifestyles. Call 866-257-8668 to buy now before it's too late, before you get sick. Or go to immudyne.com, immudine.com, or call 866-257-8668. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. What good is a Big Berkey water filter? We get that question a lot here at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And in a word, the answer is protection. Protection from water main breaks, E. coli contamination, environmental chemical spills, pesticide runoff, chlorine taste and smell, and all forms of fluoride. Plus, Big Berkey water filters are the original gravity water filter system and most trusted on the market for a reason. Tested by multiple independent NSF EPA certified labs, they are the gold standard in water purification. At only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. That means big savings. Big Berkey, the one that's powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. Get a Big Berkey today at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. GCN listeners receive 5% off all ceramic filter systems. Visit our website or call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters, for the love of clean water. It's very easy to be a criminal. All you need to burglarize a home is one simple household tool, a pair of scissors. If your home security system can be compromised by a criminal using scissors, then you're making it easy for them. Almost every home security system, even those sold by big name companies, has a weakness. The phone line. You shell out 1500 bucks, get locked into a long-term contract, and think you're safe. But a burglar can destroy your alarm in seconds with one snip. And when a burglar cuts your phone line, you you're defenseless. Simply Safe Home Security is the smarter choice. Built by Harvard engineers, Simply Safe uses a wireless connection to call the cops. Scissors can't cut it, and that means your home stays safe. 24/7 professional monitoring is under $15 a month with no contract. Simply Safe Home Security keeps you safer than the other guys for half the cost. Protect your home with the alarm you can trust. Simply Safe. Go to simplysafedefense.com now for an exclusive 10% offer. That's simplysafedefense.com. from deep in the heart of Texas. It's InfoWars Live. I'm your host, Alex Jones. Let's go to your phone calls. Rick, and then Howard, and then Riley, David, Josh, and many others. Rick, from Texas, you're on the air. Thanks for calling. I'm here. Uh, thanks for taking my call, Alex. Uh, I want to make a brief statement. I felt like the, uh, the initial officer in the New Jersey case uh, elevated or escalated the situation. <clears throat> Um, here in Texas, and I live in the Big Ben, uh, my experience, even watching police videos, is, uh, you know, a calm officer who takes control of a situation uh, can 
I guess, catch more bees with honey than you do with vinegar. And I think uh, the screaming and the yelling and the gun pointing, I really kind of just, I think it threw a frenzy into the passengers of the vehicle, and it probably wouldn't have resulted in uh, a death, that's for sure. Well, yeah, cops pointing guns at you and screaming at you and getting hysterical. Uh, you know, okay, one guy had a criminal record. Okay, it was a gun in the glove compartment. Okay, the hands are up. You know, you just killed somebody. And I'm telling you, I don't hate the police officers individually, but this will come back on them It'll by living in this society. The reality is this is why people fear the police and why they're upset with them is they see stuff like this. And the defense of stuff like this only creates more hatred for police, which the system is then going to capitalize on to cause a civil war in this country. And that's the plan confirmed now, George Soros involved in it. And the average cop does not act like this. Uh, the problem is, is he will probably get off. He will not get in trouble for this until he does it again. Uh, and uh, uh, people say, well, don't second guess you haven't been out there. I can see what's going on in this video. And all I'm saying is the public sees this as well. So what do you think should be done to this officer? Well, you know, it'll go through internal review and it'll show that he protected himself and he was doing his job. And I don't see anything, you know, and I'm not a pessimist uh, in this particular scenario. I kind of compare it to similar situations where, uh, you know, the guy got out of the car, um, even though he had his hands up, you know, it, the officer easily could have thought it was a threat. Uh, so, I, you know, I, it, it's, an, it's a system it's a systemic problem because the officers behaving and reacting the same way the establishment is training us to react, uh, who are, you know, not used to being around firearms, seeing a firearm, hearing about firearms. So just like in before, when you've discussed uh, someone who was in your office or in your, in an interview, saw your firearm on your desk, they freaked out. Maybe it was like a ABC news reporter or whatever it was. They freak out because they've been indoctrinated. They've been brainwashed into flipping out whenever they even see a gun, much less. Uh, so the officer is been brainwashed the exact same way. But yeah, that's yeah it was I... BBC in, in one case, and there was a drawer. It's an instant access pistol safe, uh, but it was open. And there was a 357 there, and she just saw the butt of it and, and literally went, oh, excuse me, oh, and got up and said, I, is that a, a gun? Uh, oh, oh. And I was like, yeah, it is. We're not sitting ducks here in this office. And you're not scared when you see cops with guns, are you? And she's like, but you, you, uh, yeah. And she was just so scared. And I had a similar case when a newspaper editor, major newspaper editor, who was college friends with my dad, he and his wife were visiting one time when I was in college, and I left my guns at my parents' house, so I was getting to my dad's gun safe to go to the shooting range, and I was going to go hog hunting after that, and I was walking through their living room from their bedroom from the closet from the gun safe with a deer rifle, and a case with a, gun, a handgun in it, and he saw it and went, oh, and, and was David, David, he's got a gun. And I was walking through the house. I said, yeah, I'm going shooting. Well, why do you have a gun? It's scary. And I said, here's the gun. He's like, no, get it out of here. No, no. And it's just an irrational fear. So great points. I appreciate your call, Rick. Imagine if those police officers would have both been white. You would have the usual suspects on television, on MSNBC and CNN, saying they executed him because he was black. No, the truth is they killed him because they had a panic attack. They were hysterical. The black cop was hysterical. And, and the other shootings I see where white cops shoot black folks, they're hysterical. They're scared. This guy had his hands up and got killed. Brown was charging him and had already attacked him. And somebody's charging and attacking me? I'm 41 years old. I can still fight good, but you know, I got injuries and things. I don't feel young as I used to. Let me tell you, somebody's charging me and has already attacked me. I'm going to pull a gun and shoot them. I don't care if they're black or white. You're not going to ram my head in the concrete. I'm just going to kill you. Because I got kids I got to come home to. I got a responsibility to try to stay alive. So I get that. But at the same time, you can't have just Yosemite Sam shoot everything up and the public receive the police as dangerous stormtroopers.
Stay there. More calls coming up. And Lionel's going to join us. We'll be right back on Alex Jones. We're on the march.